Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's video, we are going to be working on these almost argyle nails. We're starting off with one coat of Cover Your Bases. This is the Ridge Filling Base Coat by Ella and Mila. Usually I let this dry for, um, I want to say about eight. That's usually how long I set my timer for, but um, I, I maybe wait five minutes and then I apply my color coats. I'm gonna be working with these four nail polishes. Uh, Caramello is not available, but the other ones will be linked down below. We have Girl Power Emerald and Midnight Oil. Midnight Oil is going on my thumbnail, which is finally growing out again after I broke it down very low. And now I'm painting my um, ring finger with Emerald and Caramello is on my pinky right now. What excited me about today's video was how well these four colors all work together. They're so beautiful that even though I kind of messed up the design today, I don't care because the colors just match so well. And Girl Power is a beautiful glitter polish to stamp over because it's one of those colors that almost looks lit from within. And I'm doing two coats of all of these. Next, I'm taking Greenhouse and Shibori. I couldn't stamp with the other ones so I use these colors because they're close and this is the plate from clear jelly stampers plate of the month club that I'm using it has this argyle layered design which I was very excited about because I've been wanting a good argyle one for a while now however I really had a lot of trouble picking up the design and the diamonds kept breaking when I would pick them up um, and I tried several different stamp heads, several different polish types and it, at the same time it would almost dry too quickly because it was so thin. So I did have a lot of trouble with this and what I ended up doing was if I picked it up on my stamper I would um, put a clear coat of regular clear nail polish let it dry for about three minutes just to get sticky enough and then I'd let the stamp stick to the nail like that because it wasn't working out. I actually ended up having to do so many pickups and repickups and trying again and trying again that by the time I finished this nail I was I think three hours behind and I, I was so done. <laughs> I took my smudge pre top coat and I applied that after I get the stamped image on my nail because you know when you have been working so hard to get an image and you smudge it after all your hard work you get angry. Okay so these three colors are all the colors I used to try and pick up the pinstripe portions of the argyle design. None of the polishes would pick up no matter what type of stamping head I used. I used the regular uh, glossy one like that I hadn't prepared with a sponge. I used a sticky white one that I have and nothing would pick up those pinstripes. So finally I said, you know what? The nail look, it's fine. I'm gonna put a top coat on it and I'm gonna move on with my life. But then I remembered the Maniology box, uh, I think two or three boxes ago, came with these little studs that were actually in the same diamond shape as the Argyle diamonds. So I took out a couple of those and I put them on my ring finger, my pinky, and my thumb. I just put a dot of top coat, use that as kind of a glue to hold the diamond there, let it dry for about three minutes, and then I applied the top coat over the entire nail. And then of course, you can't forget to cover, you know, the actual stamped portion because as much as I love the smudge free top coat for helping not smudge the images, I feel like it peels the very next day if you don't cover it in another top coat. And here's the final result. I mean, it's just missing the pinstripes, but I don't even think I need it because I really love the diamonds peeking out underneath on their own. It's really such a fun look and reminds me of like those little Harlequin dolls. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.